Hello, YouTube. Let me continue with Russian information about this comet because I have more since publishing my video uh, regarding Putin's comments on uh, December 19, 2025. I have more information from the Russian scientists as revealed to the Russian media. But let's continue with what Putin said. Atlas is our secret weapon, which we will use at last as a last resort, the president began with a joke. But seriously, it's a comet. Our scientists know what's going on there, Vladimir Putin said. The comet came from far away. It's not from our solar system. Therefore, it does not behave like the usual comets, the president noted. There is a different shell than our comets. As it approaches the sun, slightly different processes occur on its surface, including in its dust tail. The comet is quite large, uh, from 2 to 6 kilometers. The moon is 400,000 kilometers away from us. The comet is hundreds of millions of kilometers away. And I don't think it poses any threat to us, Vladimir Putin said. And he was joking again. Let's send it to Jupiter. Okay, now this is the latest information from the well-informed Russian newspaper Komsomolska Pravda. By the way... 3i Atlas will actually fly near Jupiter in March of next year. But first things first. Earlier, the media wrote that world leaders are being informed about the Atlas situation. So the report to the U.S. President Donald Trump was allegedly made based on the materials of Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb. At least Loeb claimed so, according to the Russians. The approach of Atlas and Earth took place at a respectful distance, 268,918,000 kilometers. By our standards, again, according to the Russians, it's far away, but by space standards, it's just around the corner, says the Laboratory of Solar Astronomy at the Space Research Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences. Another strange thing is that we did not this is a state, again, this is the Russians saying, according to standards for nothing. No one was watching the object in real time at the most important moment, the laboratory noted. And it may well turn out that there is actually no 3i atlas at the calculated point. Well, if it's a spaceship. And why is this, why such neglect? The newspaper asked the head of the laboratory, his name is Sergei Bogachev. Science is not interested at all in who came from the other side of the galaxy. The response was this. Switching the viewing systems to 3i Atlas means removing them from the task of viewing the sky, explained Sergei Bogachev to the newspaper. Or limit this review. You might miss something important. Again, how can a scientist justify why he is continuously monitoring this celestial rock so that you don't miss the moment when this rock starts to take over the Earth? Every few days, the object is routinely photographed as part of a routine review along with the rest. The orbit parameters are updated as necessary and then the review continues on schedule. At the moment, we can only state that the mass media did not report on the landing of aliens on Earth, the laboratory testifies. However, hopes or fears that the object would break out of orbit and rush towards us seemed unfounded from the very beginning, said Sergei Bogachev. It is more logical to assume that the aliens, since we're talking about them, will continue to move along a natural trajectory. Why else would they disguise themselves as a comet? An interesting fact, according to the newspaper, for the first time, the idea that aliens could mimic a comet was discussed in 1979 in the magazine Technica Maladiozhi, or Technology for Young People, by famous Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov. Now, that's according to the Russian newspaper, but I recall that Professor Burdakov, with whom I corresponded many years ago, 
the Soviet space research scientist, expert in his country's missile development, and promoter of ufology, mentioned this idea about comets as interstellar uh, ships decades ago. But let's get back to Leonov. Every time comets are near the sun, they use a significant part of their matter to form a tail. Knowing the mass of the comet and the mass of the tail, we can easily calculate its lifetime. But the comet violating all forecasts appears again and again. But what about the law of conservation of matter? Obviously, somewhere in the cosmic road, comets are undergoing changes unknown to us. There is a hypothesis that some comets have are reconnaissance ships of another civilization, and they have been collecting information about the solar system, in particular about the Earth, for thousands of years. By the way, the listed facts do not contradict this. Alexei Leonov wrote at the time. Recall that the other day the laboratory also conducted an analysis to see if it makes sense for aliens to use the comet disguise. And yes, no one disputes the benefits of a good disguise. The supporters of the Atlas's reasonableness still have one more important point. The object's encounter with Jupiter on March 16 next year, 2026. According to the Russians, Avi Loeb suggested that the Wanderer's meaning comet, real goal is not us at all. It will try to establish a colony of robots on Jupiter. The Juno probe is currently operating near Jupiter, according to the Laboratory of Solar Astronomy at the Space Research Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences. Although the instruments installed on it are poorly adapted for studying comets, most of them operate in the infrared, ultraviolet, and microwave ranges of the spectrum, there is no doubt that Avi Loeb will spend all his efforts to create an information background in order to force NASA to send the probe's cameras to the comet or even make a maneuver to approach Juno and 3i Atlas, according to Sergei Bogachev. However, it's not a fact that NASA will be cooperative. The fuel and the Juno is running out and it may simply not be enough to maneuver. In the second half of next year, the celestial body will go beyond the orbit of Jupiter and completely disappear from the field of view of all terrestrial instrument, instruments. And then perhaps humanity waking up will understand the main thing, that this entire story is about waiting for aliens, gods, contactees, super civilizations, observers waiting for at least someone to come up and do something with our lives here. It's not really about aliens. This story was about us, sums up Russian scientist Sergei Bogachev. This is what I wanted to present to you. Uh, different point of views on this comet and uh, how scientists respected, esteemed scientists in other countries uh, with a tremendous history of space exploration view this event. And I'll bring you more stories about this, um, just like I will bring you more stories about the Russian space exploration, secrets, mysteries, enigmas, and the paranormal phenomena in the countries of the former Soviet Union and China. Thank you for your attention to my work. If you can support my research, please do so in the links you find in the description to this uh, video. Please watch my first video about Vladimir Putin, Russia's president, speaking about this comet. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.